The PlayStation 3 is home to a lot of obscure games and today I'm gonna show you 10 great hidden gems that I think you should play. Some of these were released on different systems as well, some are digital only, but some are actually exclusive to the PlayStation 3. So let's begin! Number 10. Closure Closure is an environmental puzzle game developed by Glial Games, an indie studio from the United States. It was pretty much a flash game until it got ports to PCs and the PlayStation 3, digital only. In the vein of Limbo, you control this weird creature in a completely black and white environment. Later, you transform into other beings. Your goal is to find the door leading to the next stage so you can move forward. You have to pick up these balls of light sometimes, otherwise you'll fall to your death in the darkness. By positioning them on some altars or switches you can go on. So it all revolves on manipulating the lighting objects to play through the game. It's very entertaining and the music is also quite interesting. Give this one a try before the PlayStation 3 store shuts down for good one day. Number 9. Moon Diver. This is a 2D side-scroller inspired by the retro classics like Ninja Gaiden or Strider. It was developed by Phil Plus, a company that also helped Miss Walker in the development of Lost Odyssey. It's digital only, available on PS3 and 360. You select between four playable characters and go onto different wasted landscapes to fight your way through. It's basically a hack and slash in 2D with great controls by the way. Each character has a special power and the game has some very small RPG elements like having HP and MP and gaining experience points. It also has a local couch co-op mode. It used to have an online multiplayer mode but it's not working anymore. But I imagine it was a lot of fun to play with somebody else online. Overall, it's a great game that can be pretty addictive to play even offline. Number 8. Deception 4 Blood Ties I talked about this game in my PlayStation 4 Hidden Gems video, so I'll be quick. This is the original version and it still rocks. You'll play as Lagrina, who's actually the devil's daughter. The story revolves around the Empire trying to stop her from breaking the seal to revive her father. So yeah, you play as the antagonist here. And you do so by trying to find the holy verses keeping the seal intact. How? By laying all sorts of different brutal traps so you can activate them when your pursuers run through. The more you advance, the more traps you unlock to have fun running away from these losers. Give this game a try, even if it's the vanilla PS3 version. Number 7. R No Surge, Oath to an Unborn Star this was also released on the PS Vita and it's a turn-based RPG in the universe of R. Tonelico. Though this is the prequel to them all so it's okay to start with this one. It's about humans living on an actual giant ship trying to find another planet to live in as their own was destroyed some time ago. You'll be switching between two different protagonists, each with their own female companion that can cast song magic during battle. Combat is played in turns but you have to attack and kill as many enemies as you can during your turn and defend at the right time during the enemy's turn. You can actually kill all enemies in one dungeon or area in one battle if you want to, to avoid random encounters later on. There's also the diving simulation when you enter the girl's subconsciousness to play some visual novel parts in order to strengthen their song magic. I think this is a great and also quite unique RPG on the PS3 and also my favorite in the series. Number 6. Aquapazza Aquapazza or Aquapazza, whatever, is a 2D fighting game originally released for the arcades in Japan. A North American port was released for the PlayStation 3, meaning it's basically an exclusive to it. And it actually is a crossover from many games developed by companies Aqua Plus and Leaf, most notably the Uta Warerumono series and the original Tears to Tiara. Several characters are there to choose from and you can also select a partner that you can summon for certain moves. However, this isn't a combo-based game per se. Sure, there are combos to be done by button mashing your controller, but it's also somewhat technical. 
You know, like the Street Fighter games where you gotta pull out some moves and supers? Overall, it's an excellent game that greatly combines those two fighting modes really well. Number 5. El Shaddai – Ascension of the Metatron also available on the Xbox 360 and Windows recently, it's an action game that combines platforming and hack and slash in 3D. To stop the Great Flood from wiping out humanity, a scribe called Enoch will embark on a quest to find seven fallen angels with the help of a shady guardian angel called Lucifer. In El Shaddai you'll have three different types of attacks, each being stronger and weaker to the other, as in a triangle system. Basically, you'll have your regular hack and slash one, the projectile attacks with another one, and the strong, powerful attacks with the last. The game's graphics stand out a lot here. The characters are done with cell shading, but not the backgrounds. A pretty interesting combination. Unfortunately, the PS3 version of this game is kind of expensive nowadays, so you might have to settle down with the Xbox 360 one. Both versions play just as great as far as I'm concerned. Number 4. Puppeteer Another one that got expensive during Covid is Puppeteer, exclusive to the PS3, by the way. It's a beautiful platformer in both 2D and 3D at the same time that's also very unique. It plays as if you were watching a puppet show in a theater with weird and over-the-top character designs. You can play this game by yourself or with someone else in local co-op, because you control Kutaro, a boy that's been transformed into a headless puppet but also a companion that will serve to interact with certain unreachable objects. Kutaro can equip up to three different heads that serve different purposes, and fight with giant scissors to cut down his path to next stages and bosses. Other accessories will be unlocked as you progress, like a grapple and a shield. There's more to it than it appears, it's just full of very carefully designed details. Definitely one of the most unique games released on the PS3. Number 3. Trinity Souls of Zilol This is an action RPG developed by Koei Tecmo and also one very dark. It's a quest for revenge by Arius, the protagonist, who teams up with two other characters fighting for their own reasons. You can switch to any of them at any given time as they all control differently and are stronger to certain types of enemies. You'll go through vast areas and dungeons fighting monsters, elite creatures, and then a powerful boss. This game can be played on easy, by the way, because it's very, very hard on normal later on. Most of the adventure will rely heavily on side quests, but there will always be a main story quest to follow regularly. Therefore, little by little the story will start to unravel and hook you up before you know it. This is an excellent RPG, with great controls and awesome concept. I don't think it's that expensive yet, so be on the lookout for a good deal. Number 2. Lost Dimension This is a strategy RPG also released on Windows and the PS Vita, one that is also very unique. It takes elements from the famous Danganronpa series where a bunch of characters are trapped in one place and one of them needs to die in order for the others to move forward. You gotta carefully select who'll die though as it affects the story and the ending. Up to 6 of the 12 characters can participate in battle, but they don't move on grids. Each one has a wide but limited area they can traverse to, to get closer to the enemies. Executing your turn can be done with your regular weapon or your skills, but if one or more allies are nearby, they can all join in several follow-up attacks. I love this game, I think it's one of the best on the PS3, and it's criminally underrated. Play any version you can as it is strongly recommended. Number 1. Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax Another 2D fighting game takes the throne here, released in Japan on the arcades and later port to the PS Vita and PS3. And it's yet another crossover, inviting characters from light novels, games and anime series, like for example Durarara and Sword Art Online. It also features characters from Virtua Fighter and Valkyria Chronicles, but you gotta unlock them first. A wide variety of fighters you can choose from and also with an assist partner that can be summoned to make a move during battle, 
This one is heavily based on combos, so it's all about mashing your buttons to beat the crap out of everyone. It has great controls and it feels awesome to fight any contestant. It also got an updated version called the Ignition, but that one stayed in Japan. This vanilla one, however, is a masterpiece and a must play if you're into 2D fighters. Alright guys, that's all for today's video, these were my 10 picks, no honorable mentions as I think I can easily keep doing more of these on the PlayStation 3. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. See you next time!